Hi and welcome back to MRTV. My name is Sebastian Arg and in this video I'm going to show you how simple it is to sideload Android apps to the Pico Neo 3 link. It is incredibly simple. So what you're going to do is, well, you open the browser and then you find any APK website, like for example, APK Mirror. By the way, I'm showing you here the method to do this without a computer. Of course, you can also simply, um, yeah, get the APKs that are on your computer, connect your computer with your Pico Neo 3 link via USB cable and then copy it over. But here I'm showing you how to do it without a computer. So go to apkmirror.com, find the app that you would like to install, like for example, Discord here, and then you download Discord. So simple, absolutely simple. This is Discord. You have to click on the right version. And then here, download APK. That's what you do. You click on this and then, yeah, you need to give some permissions. And then you click on download and the file goes to your new Pico Neo 3 link. Isn't it beautiful? Here, the next app that I'm going to install, that I'm going to download is Google Chrome. And yeah, Google Chrome, you obviously know <laughs> what it is. Web browser. And well, it has some more functions than the Pico browser. Yep, then you go to files. Then you cl click on here directory. You go and find the downloads <coughs> folder. It's here. And here are your downloads. As you see, there are some more apps that are downloaded. And then what you do is you simply click on the icon and this is what's gonna happen. Discord, do you wish to install this application? And everything happens just as on your Android phone. Well, the Pico is an Android device. And there it is, there is Discord. Then you can, yeah, log into Discord just as you would on your phone. And I'm not showing you how I log in here. I directly go into Discord. And Discord works so well on the Pico Neo 3 link. The cool thing is you can also do voice chats, just like you do on your Android phone. Everything, everything works just as you would imagine it works. So you can go to your favorite voice channel and you can talk with your friends. And I'm, I'm trying to, yeah, I'm going to uh, a voice channel here on the MRTV Discord server, on the German one, and join voice. And then you have to give another permission for your microphone. And then I'm here. And I did say something. And then you can see here. Here, I, I said something. And yeah, it showed the green thing. The cool thing is, you can even start a game and leave this in the background and you can talk with your friends while you are in a VR game. How cool is that? It works like a charm. Next, I tried out here Chrome. I've installed it. I'm going to mrtv.co just to check it out. And yeah, Chrome works fine. You can scroll, you can click, you can do everything that you would want to do. It is so cool how simple it is to install Android apps on your Pico Neo 3 link. You don't need to root anything. You don't have to do anything. Everything is perfectly built in into this device. And yeah, you can do things like you can uh, change the background here. You can turn off the lights if you want, if you just want to see the browser window. And um, yeah, <clears throat> you can do lots of cool things. You can also get everything closer if you want. You could put things further away. I'm going to show you this in a moment. Everything works well with the controllers here. Exactly. You can simply <clears throat> put this away from you or you can get it closer. It is so cool. And then, you know what I wanted to try? I wanted to try if Stadia works. Oh, yes. So here it is, Stadia. I connected my Stadia controller not to the device, but to the to to the web, right? Because the Stadia controller is connected to the web. And it works just like a charm. And then you can play all of your Stadia games 
on that huge virtual desktop. <laughs> no, virtual screen. Let's say like this. Virtual screen. And in terms of latency, well, it is just as if you would be playing on your TV or in your browser window. It is absolutely cool. And of course, it's not just not just a Stadia that you can play. You can play all of these cloud gaming services, right? So yeah, you can use your Pico Link to play all these cool games. You can play your PS5, you can you can play Xbox from the cloud. All these things work and it's fantastic. And you can also download Android games, for example, right? And you can connect your PS4 controller and play the Android games on that huge virtual screen that is in front of you. So I think it's really cool how open the Pico Neo 3 Link is, how simple it is to, to play those Android apps, to simply download them. And you know, there's so many Android apps out there, right? You can do so many cool stuff. And if you have a really cool application, and probably you've already tried it out on the Pico Neo 3 link and it works, please, please do let the community know in the comment section. Tell us what you've tried out. Tell us what works well. Tell us also what doesn't work well because not everything works perfectly well, right? So please do let us know in the comment section below. I, for my part, I really enjoy it, how easy and simple it is to install Android apps here on the Pico Neo 3 Link. And I think this opens up lots of cool possibilities, not just to play Bomberman, as you can tell here. Yeah, I really hope that this little video could help you, could give you some ideas. If you have any more questions, do let me know in the comment section down below. If you have not yet subscribed to MRTV, do that now. If you're excited about virtual reality, if you want to know about the Pico Neo 3 Link, about all the other headsets, which will be coming up soon. We can tell you there's some surprises coming. Maybe. <laughs> oh, maybe I know. <laughs> yeah, so you should absolutely subscribe to this channel. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and do leave a comment. Which games or which, which apps have you already played on the Pico Neo 3 Link? That's it. See you in the next one. Until then, bye-bye.